but you know, credits go to all of those people who made a fantastic game. It's not just you know, Drew Carpshin or the creative director. Anyway, it, it's in a, it's a team effort in so many ways to make these games. From just what little I know, yeah, I mean like you look at Patrick Weeks, you know. Uh, I'm gonna complete this game. Develop relationship. Share ships. I'm gonna continue. My fish are still alive! Okay, this is interesting! Happy she's happy too. Frog, we made it! We made it! Look at us! We've come so far! Let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, that's the row. I got one more at one point. I got one more biotic thingy. <sighs> yep. I got ten now. Yep. Okay. Squeak! Oh, I'm sorry, Frog. I didn't listen to you. My dog. What's this? It's like, a, oh, it's a water cup? Okay. Still kind of freaky to have my head sitting there. Let's check the private terminal really quick. Holy crap. Uh, uh team status. Make sure. Alright. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's beautiful. Wait, no. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to go to messages. Oh, nobody's messaged me. Wonder if I go, like, talk to Anderson and stuff, if things will be different. Ooh, well, we know where we're going. Woo! Okay, had to leave for a second, but now, now we're going back. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so fun! I do remember, I think when I ended last time, I went and talked to Kelly. I think I did. Because I was just like, oh! Like, it popped me out. I think I said continue, just because I was like, well, I don't want to start a new game, like, right now. You know? And, uh... Yeah... I think, yeah, I think you can't, you can't just restart. I think you have to choose then and there if you want to, like, go back and play with this Shepard, like, at this level. Or if you do, like, have to do what I did where I just re-uploaded my Mass Effect 1 save to Mass Effect 2. Because, of course, I had done some things differently in Mass Effect 1, played some extra DLC, but... Hey, let's go! Oh, dang it, I went to the wrong one. I thought I clicked it twice. I didn't. No! Oh, well. I'll just pop out here, look around, and go back. <laughs> Be like, yep. <laughs> well, okay, we'll go talk to Kelly. Kelly. I think, well, that might, this, as I say, this series might not quite be 100 parts, but if I go out and play a little bit more extra, because I, I do want to do that. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Are you trolling me? You came for us. I knew you would. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. A thousand times, thank you. I have uh, control over time and space. How are you doing, Kelly? I'm holding up. I just can't get the memories She's out She's an head. empath. Trapped. Suffocating. It's oozing into every pore. Faint sobs echoing the confined space. But I, I can't dwell on it. I'm okay now. I'm alive. Back to the old Kelly. Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need it. She's never gonna be the same again. Kelly, especially, she's very, she's an empath, and she feels things deeply. She's extremely sensitive to emotions, and she has to be able to control her own, but because she's so sensitive to emotions, she's, sub, she's, she's subject to, like, um, very, being very easily triggered into bad memories, I think, as well. It's not quite the Drell thing. People can do, people do this. Like, humans do this sometimes, where they'll, like, like a, I think it's kind of like a trigger type thing, you know, but not in the like, you know, kind of vague sense that some people use it, where they're just like, oh, I'm triggered by socks or something, but it's it's actual triggers, like PTSD triggers, you know, or like confined spaces or loud noises, you know, um, but even just for her, it's just remembering, it's just starting to remember it, and then it just, it, a, a, mem a memory can trip you back into a horrible memory, and it can be the slightest of things, and it's it's very serious, especially for sensitive people. <sighs> Kelly, oh my gosh, you are horrible at this job. Let's go poke Joker. 
You're losing it a little, Kelly. But see, look. I told you we tear the collectors if you want. Yeah. Hadley, you're still doing well. Good, good. You can kind of hear like background noises though, and like clickety click clicks. It's not just the hum of the engines. Hey Shepard, glad that Collector Reaper crap is over. It is over, right? Yeah. It's never over. It's never over. The good old days. I assume everything's going well up here. Edie and I are just enjoying the calm before the shitstorm, Commander. That is what you said before, now. but now you, it also makes sense for now because we know that we're about to probably yes, head, head into some horrible things. I want to know more Jeff's about Jeff's actions have released the blocks in my uh -huh. databases. I can all now right. provide That's full That's all support. for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Well, we can definitely go talk to Legion and see if things... I wonder if things would... probably won't be different with Thane. That would be... That might be a bit too much to hope for. I hope people kind of acknowledge it, though, that, like... You know, we did it. Yay. Let's uh, talk about something else. But probably not. Oh, this is going to be cool. We'll just do a couple more missions, maybe. Wander about the galaxy. Pretend that we're going to take a vacation really quick. Just let everybody relax. Before we do what we have to do in Mass Effect 3. Which, ho oh buddy, boy, ho oh buddy. You had to make a decision. Ah! Oh, yeah, okay, I remember now. For what it's worth, I believe you made the correct one. Right. That was about the collector base. So, I remember that. I do remember that. Have a few minutes to talk? You needn't ask. Time for me is short, Siha. But any I have is yours to take. How are you feeling? No worse than ever. Too much to hope that you things would change. And you, you are well? No need to worry about me. How are you holding up? I'm looking forward to the end of the mission. Yes. It has been many years since I felt I it could is. relax. It is. I spent two years dead. Every moment seems irreplaceable now. I spent ten years dead. I understand the feeling. Strange that I should only reawaken now, when there is so little time left. I suppose it's too much to hope that everybody gets, like, new dialogue and cutscenes and stuff after the game is, like, over, you know? When most people wouldn't play any, you know, play further. Time for a drink, Kazumi! We're gonna have a drink! <laughs> Work is done. We're gonna have a party. It's just, you know, flavored water. Mix it, because why not? Because it's there. But somehow we uh, defy physics with that. It sounds really dangerous. It's like, Psss. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what that is, but. But, <laughs> hey, Kasumi, we're gonna tell you what it is. Hey, got a minute? Obviously, I'm gonna throw I heard up. about you and ah! I want details. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't. But I'm glad you're happy. <laughs> One of the girls in navigation thinks she might be pregnant. Even aboard a Cerberus vessel, oh. life finds a way. Oh. That's so cute! Hey, you know, everybody, everybody deals with stress differently. <laughs> I never want to go through anything like that again. But we did it. I can't wait to get back to Earth and see my family. I'm so happy! He's gonna see his baby! I wanted to tell you, I believe you did the right thing by destroying that base. The elusive man thinks he has the wisdom to utilize it, but he does not. I agree. How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. What, for real? I wish to meditate. I should go. Aww. Of course. Okay, I can't just talk to you. I can just talk to Garrus. Go double check on Chakwas. How's everyone? Everyone I good? can't believe you took down the collectors. I'm proud to serve under you, Commander. 
Hawthorne is still in the infirmary, though I think his pride is more broken than his bones. Oh, yeah! He tried so hard to help Joker. He did. He did. He helped him. He did. You really are a hero. No sooner had the Collectors damned us than you were pulling our sorry asses right back out of <laughs> hell. Your ace is in my book, Shepard. Thank you. Thank you, Mess Sergeant Gardner. I love these trash cans. I don't know why. I just like them. Chalkwise, everything all right? I'm still a little shaken from my abduction by the Collectors. It was a lot to endure. You and Jeff came so quickly. I've never had truer friends. Thank you, Commander. You're welcome, Chakwas. Anything for you. Oh! Hey! You doing alright there? I'm surprised there's not more people in here, but, you know. Jeff should technically be in there. An interesting choice, Shepard Commander. Your species was offered everything Geth aspired to. True unity, understanding, transcendence. You rejected it. You even refused the possibility of using the old machine's gifts to achieve it on your species' own terms. You are more like us than we thought. Hmm. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'd like to find out more about you. Specify. I've never encountered a Geth that had more than animal intelligence. We are a unique hardware platform. Most mobile platforms can run up to 100 programs. This platform can run over a thousand at once. And I think he's been this way for a long time. It's not like he was made this way recently. So Geth have to be networked to get enough computing power for intelligence. Yes. The creators wrote Geth programs for specific tasks. Construction, protection, domestic servitude. However, they allowed self-optimization. Early software builds discovered that multiple hardware platforms, sharing resources, were often more effective. As peer networks expanded, our cognition improved. Eventually, we woke up. Hmm. Something that was not taken into account. So, I'm talking to a thousand programs, but not a thousand personalities? Each individual is equivalent to one of your virtual intelligence programs. Together, we form a single gestalt intellect, what you would refer to as Legion. As individual programs, we are no more than your software. Only when we share data do we become more. It's so confusing, but like it's, I mean, it makes sense. You're like, yes, okay, you know, it's multiple to one, but and it's like, eh, because they consult each other. Like, like he said, like they are, when they try to form a consensus, like, but it, it's them saying, hold on, we're trying to form a consensus, you know, like, it's so crazy. You're more sophisticated than the average guess. Yes, we are a network within our own hardware capable of operating alone. We are still connected to the greater network for data sharing. How many other Geth are like you? None. This platform was built to operate within organic space. This task was not suited for a network. Geth installed in mobile platforms always operate in networks. However, most Geth remain within server hubs. Uh, oh shoot, uh... The hubs on Vermeer improve the performance of Geth near them. How do they work? They are akin to organic cities. A hub can run millions of Geth in communion. That's so crazy to think that they're them, just programs. It is likely the number of heretics you killed was much higher than you imagined. <laughs> so you're in contact with the rest of the Geth right now? Only when we require access to data not stored within this platform. If you want to convey a message to the Geth, we serve as a terminal. Oh! Oh, that is cool. What kind of data do you share? Program updates, logs of thought process, sensor recordings. Legion is attempting to access the ship's FTL comm system. Shall I allow it through my firewalls? Well, Legion probably has a good reason. He's probably just trying to... <sighs> communicate with them, right? I don't know. All right. Go ahead, Edie. Oh, he's trying to get his year, his information back. Day of fall tash, waxing moon, roughly 327 years ago. Yeah, he's old. The oldest audiovisual record. Or one of his programs, anyway. Are our network secure, Edie? 
Legion had to go through you. I have never interfaced with another machine. Oh until yeah. It Legion is a thousand voices talking at once. What it contacted was beyond my comprehension. Wow. A mind the size of a galactic arm. Oh my gosh. How do you maintain stability without other minds to interact with? I manage. Some minutes are more difficult than others. Ah, interesting. My two little AIs talking. Oh. That's true. They would the interacting with an AI would be an interesting experience for someone like Legion. He's like for any Geth really, but they're like you are a machine intelligence like us, but how how do you how can you be all alone with all of these thoughts and nobody to talk to or anything? You have to make all these decisions on your own with only your viewpoint. That would be interesting to hear them talk. Can you replay something for me? Recording timestamp from creator year 2485. 18th day of Loon Shall, New Moon. Mistress Hala Dama, unit has an inquiry. What is it, 431? Do these units have a soul? Who taught you that word? We learned it ourselves. It appears 216 times in the scroll of ancestors. Only quarians have souls. You're a mechanism. Recording ends. Boo. Was that the first time a Geth asked if it had a soul? No. It was the first time a creator became frightened when we asked. Hmm. An important distinction and one that I... I mean, you, you, I, I, I've seen it before. I've, I've, I've seen this and I know... It was, you know, it's like, oh, it's like distinctly... This is the first time a creator became frightened when we asked, but obviously, you can't. I kind of forget the no. It's like no, they've already asked. But there were quarians out there who were not afraid when the unit asked if it had a soul. This was the first time one showed fear to that question. That's interesting, but I must get back to my duties. We will remain here. Shepard. What happens to the heretics now? Many heretics remain in isolated systems. It is not impossible for them to rebuild. There's still a chance they could attack again. The probability is low. If so, it would take many years. I'll go. Okay. I have to get back to work. Acknowledged. Okay. Well, I'll leave you alone for now. I always wanted to go through these myself. I'm like, why does Joker get to and not me? Garrus, my loyal second-hand man. Whew. For Saren, now the Collectors, remind <laughs> me never to get on your bad side, Shepard. <laughs> I almost feel sorry for the Reapers. <laughs> Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. Optimizing weapons, charge it. I'm still trying to figure what? out how to prepare. What happens mission. if I do this you now? You deal with stress the way Turians do. Oh god, I didn't change. Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing. Uh, okay, I'm curious. I'm curious. All right. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. Come on. Optimizing web. I'm still trying to figure out how to prepare for this mission. It sounds like you're carrying some tension. Maybe I could help you get rid oh, of Oh, go weird. I uh, didn't think you'd feel like sparring, Commander. Uh, could you say goodbye? Oh, I go! Oh, no, 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 oh, no, no, oh, no. I didn't. Nope. But nope. I don't want to do anything that screws up the crew relationship. Oh, what did well, he say? Might be enough as it is. What? Oh, what, what? I mean, oh, I skipped it. I was too awkward it out. Okay, okay. Whew, I couldn't. Nope, nope. <laughs> that was weird. Not for this, Shepard. Not for this, Shepard. If I had to do that again, I'd probably have to make a new one. Which is a bummer, because I want to go through and play with my Mass Effect 1 character and get to level 60. But... Cause I'm level 58 right now, but if I I can't redo her, you know what I mean? Like, 
it would be the same Raven Shepherd. And I could just, I could just be like, oh, this is a different life or whatever. And I might, I don't know, but. <sighs> I'd like to romance Garrus next when I play. And I could technically play through with Raven Shepherd. That was terrifying. Weird. Okay. <laughs> I could play through with her and then change her appearance in Mass Effect 2, because you get that chance, but I don't know if I want to do that. It just feel, it would feel really weird. We have weird. to do it, Shepard. Taking down the collective. Oh, see, Miranda right agrees decision. too. The elusive man might not agree, but we had no choice. Well, we did have a choice, but. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. There's always a choice. Sometimes it's really crappy choices, though. <laughs> I think we got everybody up here. I might run over and I didn't do that first part of the archaeology mission. I might go run and do that really quick and then there's just a couple, I mean like I didn't hit, I didn't even hit up any more planets, I only got just enough platinum to do the Geth shield upgrade, and that was it. Like I stabbed at like one planet, maybe two, that were like in the system. Shepard, I was just waxing goddamn nostalgic. Yeah? I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operators <laughs> I've killed. <laughs> Lost track around 50. I know, right, man? Guess you're a elusive man's big on forgiveness. <laughs> Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a Krogan's ah! head. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives him mad. Oh, really? Oh, okay. He knows a lot. I should let you go. Talk more. He's a bit terrifying, but he, he knows things. Oh wait, oh, 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 let's go see, oh, 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 oh. Come on, you two. Thanks for coming to get us, Commander. I felt myself slipping away. You arrived just in time. Thank you. Carry on. Will do, Commander. Take care of yourselves, kids. I can't believe we destroyed the Collector Base. They said it couldn't be done. Then again, that's said about a lot of things you do. Yay! I'll let you work. <laughs> Talk to you later. Oh, thank you, you beautiful thing. You are amazing. You're amazing. I'm actually okay. I keep thinking I might actually upload this to Mass Effect 3 tonight just to just just to see, and it's kind of giving me like butterflies thinking about it. I'm just like Ugh. like sort of fear butterflies. I've only I've started. I have tried a Mass Effect 2 twice. Only played through or Mass Effect 3 twice. Only played it through once. So it'll be a very interesting experience. Hey. Oh, uh, you don't have anything to say. What's happening, Shepard? We okay. talked enough. You're just pissing around. I should go. Whatever. What a weird way to end, like, talking to Jack. I don't know. Dang. Oh, no. Okay, I did it right this time. Sweet. <laughs> Dang, I always mess it up. What you think, Grunt? We fought a great battle, Shepard. And when you blew up the base instead of handing <laughs> it to Cerberus. <laughs> Something to think about. If you killed the most dangerous thing in the galaxy, that leaves us. Oh! I don't remember that. <laughs> nice! See, Grunt is... Grunt and Rex totally defy the stereotype that Krogan are just, like, de like you know, dumb killing machines. Like... They think about things. Like, they can be... I mean, they are killing machines, and they enjoy it, but they think about things. That's all for now. Shepard. They think about things. 
deeply. All right, well, maybe we'll go visit Anderson really quick and see if things have changed. That'd be cool. I was trying to think if I wanted to change anything on my armor, but I'm freaking loving it. I can smell dinner. I can smell it. it smells like onions. I hope it's good. I have a bad habit. I tend to not eat when I play games. Like, I've been playing since about noon. And I ate breakfast late, but I'm getting to that point where I'm really hungry again. I take much better care of myself when I'm camping, to be honest. No messages for you, Commander. Okay, really? That's good. Cool. Let's go. Let's go, let's go say hi to Anderson. Hey, Anderson. We did it. I feel like if you go out, like, cause I did, I did, I went to go talk to him, just to, just to go see him before the mission. And it was like a quiet minute with Anderson, you know, and I feel like though, like if it, you can imagine it on your own, the game doesn't really put it in. But he knows, like if you walk in, like there's, he's a soldier to the bone, like, and he know, and so, so Shepard. Like, they know, like they wouldn't have even had to say anything. They could have just been acting like things were normal. She just stopped in, but he would know that she was about to do what she was, what she was gonna do, you know? So. Kinda wish you could check up on Caden somehow, but. I'm honestly kinda surprised you don't really get a message from him. And nobody knows what we did. Getting ready to exit. Getting decontaminated. I wonder if I did upload my next this save to Mass Effect 3 and I played it through if I should play a Vanguard again. I wonder how it's changed in Mass Effect 3. It's bringing Legion! We're bringing Legion everywhere <laughs> now. Oh, that's right. Oh my gosh, did I? Okay, no, I did. I was like, did I not do his point? But I did do some of them. Wow, he looks really scary. Cool. All right. We're beautiful. Oh, look, I almost got enough Renegade points to go up over the first tier. <laughs> I think last time I did. I'm surprised. I think I, I think I took more Renegade actions this time. But, or maybe that was maybe that was Mass Effect 3. I think actually, okay, yeah, I think it was Mass Effect 3 where I got up, like, either halfway through the, the second tier or maybe the third tier. Maybe. Uh, or maybe just got over the second tier. But, um... Uh, I think in this one, I still, I only had like a tiny little fraction down there at the bottom, but this time, I did a lot more parent renegade actions. Which, I don't know, kind of doesn't make sense, because last time I did have trouble, I, when Miranda and Jack fight, I had to take sides, I wasn't able to paragon my way out of it. But with Legion and Tally, I was able to paragon my way out of it. Pretty sure, anyway. Oh! Oh, hey, I still have the collect. I should take that off. Alliance military officials are having difficulty meeting hiring quotas, according to a new report. I'm sorry, but I can't let you board the shuttle with that. But this is a ceremonial item of my people. <laughs> Sir, it's a 15 centimeter serrated blade. You humans are all racist. Racist! Racist! Is Legion gonna say anything? Whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't see anything. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. That was quick. Hey, Bailey, anything new? Yes. Nope, okay. I should be going. You need anything else? Let I, me know. I feel almost like Shepard just like can't tell people. Uh, that she can't tell them what she did, you know? It's all hush hush. Let's see. I'm just kind of curious if. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite <laughs> store on the Citadel. You guys, you guys dead? You guys are dead. 
It'd be cool if there was something for free and for 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 Legion to say. Maybe there's, there's, you would think it would be right up in the front, but we'll see. <laughs> I wish you could, like, get some sort of reaction from people that you're, like, toting a geth around. Greetings, Earth Class. Hey. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Stand? Get a I saw something about a stand. If it, mm, hmm. No point in buying anything. Huh. I think, yeah, no, I think if they had something to say, they say it at the entrance, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. All right. To the Presidium. It's actually a good idea to bring two biotics with B with uh, during the final battle because everything's barrier there. There's no shields almost, you know. Hey, hey, Anderson! Look at my friend. I brought my look at him. He's walking around. Nah. Yo, Anderson. Something I can do for you, Shepard. Uh, damage remains. Forward to get Caden on Horizon. Return. How have you been? How have the last couple years treated you? Serving on the council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Mm. And maybe, it feels you like know, I'm be kind of interesting. My head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? I better go. My door is always open. <sighs> like, it makes my heart hurt. I'm just like... Oh, like I'm thinking about the beginning of Mass Effect 3 again, and it's like, it'd just be so nice to just like chill with Anderson for a minute and then have to deal with all that crap. But I think, again, like you could say, like Shepard would come in, and maybe they wouldn't even talk. She'd just come in and sit down, and Anderson would like give her a drink, and they'd just sit there and hang out and like just breathe in the quiet for a minute, you know? And then, like, like he would know, you know? Obviously, she came back, like, she's alive. <laughs> They are, they are, depending on how you play it, but even I think, they're kind of scripted to be very close, I think. And you can kind of, you know, you can read it, or you can interpret it however you want, but Anderson's always been there for my shepherd, and I think part of it is because she was an orphan. So, he's, the, he's definitely a father figure. Probably has inspired her and kept her going for a long time. Well, shoot. I don't even know what to do. I wish things changed. But it would be like, it would be almost unfair for people who were just like, oh, like thinking that's the end of the game and then they're just done, right? But it would be kind of unfair for those people, I guess, if they, you know, didn't come back in and they would maybe lose out on some things. But then yeah, they'd be kind of a nice bonus for people who decided to keep wandering around. So, I don't know. But, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe. Nope, okay. Nobody's like, oh, hey, thanks for surviving. That's a little weird. I'll just pretend. Um, but yeah, I guess um, I will officially leave it off here. Um, thank you, guys. I, I appreciate those of you who've, who've watched this one. I know it's not a blind one or anything, but... And I there were times I like was like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing, but it was incredibly fun. I really freaking love this game a lot. And I'll probably do a couple more little missions. Um, just like little things to fly around and play around before we have to turn the ship in, as it were. <laughs> um, but I appreciate everybody's support. I appreciate those of you that commented. I appreciate those of you that just watched. I really do. Like, 
I was worried this would maybe only get like 10 views at a time or anything, but you guys, have, you guys have really liked it, and some of you have been, you know, like, you know, hey, don't don't forget about Mass Effect 2, and I'm like, don't worry, I will not forget about it. I would never forget about this game, and I will finish it. So I guess this is the official, and perhaps I will do a couple more small missions. I have no idea what I'm gonna do after this. I guess I don't know. Let me know if you want. I can upload this to Mass Effect 3 and just do like. Like a little cutscene type thing just to kind of see. I don't. I, I have no idea if I would finish that, but I would probably play and just like upload important things maybe. I don't know. Kind of maybe an experiment for the Dragon Age Inquisition official custom world playthrough that I'm going to do eventually. So that is also in the works when I finish this, uh, but I want to finish my Dragon Age Inquisition second season that I've got going right now, which I have no idea when that's going to be done, if ever. Um... But I may, it may be sooner than I think. I do want to play the Descent DLC. I want to play Jaws of Khan DLC for sure. But um, I may just try to finish that up and then do the same thing. Where like I'll just go back and play little missions if I want. And then, but then I do want to play Trespasser as well. I will for sure be playing Trespasser with Talon, with my second Inquisitor. Um, so the next season, the official custom world state season with Erica, my first Inquisitor may still yet be a long time coming, but um, I also do want to go back and play Dragon Age Origins again a second season. I've already got it started with my Dalish Elf Warden um, and we, I, I have that uploaded. You guys have seen that. So so that's kind of what I'm thinking. That's what I want. I might I might just play a little bit of the Mass Effect 3 even on my own with this, with this save file specifically and see how it goes. Um... And it would be nice, too, because then I would, oh, I don't know, I would be able to maybe not mess up on some things and pick up on some other things that I didn't the first time, because there are a couple things that people have mentioned that I'm like, I didn't even know, you know? And it would perhaps make a little more sense, too, for me, because it would have, I would have the DLC, and fortunately or unfortunately for Bioware games you kind of need to have the DLC to understand the full story you also kind of need to read the books <laughs> for some, not for Mass Effect Dragon Age is a little more guilty of that which I don't mind whatsoever but um, the, DL the DLC thing was like oh I wasn't aware that I needed that to fully understand the story but yay raw <laughs> so anyway thank you guys again I really do appreciate you guys supporting this series. I, I appreciate everything. Appreciate it all. Appreciate you all. You're the best. I, I, I can't say it enough. I really do. Um, anyway, thank you guys again, and I will see you in the next series.